evening, everyone. How are you? Uh, welcome to Talk the Talk Live. We're gonna just go to the browser right here quickly. No, actually, we're gonna we're gonna go full cam for now. Uh, welcome to the new location of Talk Talk Live. Hello, hello, hello. How are you? Hope all is well. We still have the microphone in the distance. It's here, over there. But uh, hope you can still hear me. Hope that my voice carries. And uh, yeah, sorry for my lateness, but my 95 year old grandmother. Uh, was just over. I uh, had an impromptu visit to the house and, uh, well, we were accommodating her. So again, thank you for joining me on Talk Talk Live, live here on IG and YouTube. We are back. We are back. We are back. Thank you for joining me on a Sunday night. And yes, we're going to discuss the word submission. And if it is indeed a bad word. Uh, wow. Someone's at my front door for some reason. I don't know what that is. Uh, but Hopefully somebody in the house will answer that, uh, will answer the door. I hear footsteps in the background, and yes, we are good to go. Okay, so we are here on Talk Talk Live, live on IG and YouTube. We are making sure that all lights, mics, and yes, yes, we are. We are all connected. We are all connected. Yes, 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 yes. Excellent. So uh, somebody's answered the door. So we are ready to go here. So what we're going to talk about is submission. And if indeed, uh, if submission is indeed a bad word. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do just a quick amount of background research here. Let's just uh, do this since well, uh, we are waiting on our followers to come through on Talk Talk Live, live on IG and YouTube here is submission is indeed a bad word. Let me just go here. So let's see. Go YouTube. Yes, indeed. Uh, the reception here is so much better than previous, which is fantastic to me. Uh, uh, again, it is, let's see. Bad word. <laughs> yes, indeed. Let me just do that, do this and enter. And we go. Yes, indeed. All right, there we go. There we go. Talk, talk live. We are live here on IG and YouTube. You're actually coming in on that right now. Right, indeed. I mean, we have a few things here. If you see on Talk, talk live about submission, maybe. Uh, that says that um, uh, maybe submission is not bad, but we're gonna go on what uh, on what I my take on it on things is, and uh, again, I hope you can uh, join me if submission is indeed a bad word. So, let's go with it. Let's just go with it. So, let's um, define what submission is. This is gonna be a shorter show today. Uh, just letting you know that. So, uh, do bear with me. It's gonna be a shorter show today, and. Um, yeah, because again, uh, we've had a few issues in terms of our grandmother being here today. And uh, quite simply, that has uh, deterred matters. But I am liking our new surroundings. Tell me if you like your new surroundings uh, on IG and YouTube. I, I'm tending to like this. The reception here isn't that it is 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 a little bit better. Uh, the lighting's that much better. And uh, yeah, I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this. Maybe a few lights here and there just to set things up. But I did it impromptu just in case. But again, it is uh, it is definitely um, definitely something that we are going to continue to do uh, going forward. Indeed, so submission being a bad word. So let's define it. Let's define what submission is. So we're gonna go right here on Talk Talk Live again on IG and YouTube. Thank you for joining me. Uh, like, subscribe, comment. We are on the road to a thousand subscribers. So I can see on the browser here that we are back here and ready to go. So uh, let's see what we got here. So submission being a bad word. Let's see. Let's define the word first. Let us define it. So we're going to go here and define what submission really is. Here we go. Usually it have uh, the thing on my uh, TV screen, but not tonight. But uh, we're going to go with it anyway. So submission. Let's define what submission is. Submission. As said in the Google Dictionary. <laughs> Lord knows it would have been a uh, uh, a Webster Marion 
uh, dictionary beforehand, but not uh, in modern day. We just Google the word what submission is, and it usually comes up within a matter of seconds. So, such is the day, such is the modern age. But the modern definition of uh, submission, as defined by Google, is you can see it right here on Talk Talk Live the act or fact of accepting or yielding to a superior force or the will or authority of another person. Uh, they were forced into submission is the, uh, if, uh, if stated in the sentence. So that in and of itself is a bad connotation. Let's face facts. It's uh, not exactly the best of things to, for a person to submit to their partner. Uh, again, it is uh, doesn't bring with it the right connotation of things, and it, again, it's it's more as more or less more or less a relenting, more or less a uh, uh, a action of last resort, if anything. So, it, it, again, the word submission is not does not bring the best of connotations up. But what uh, what I mean, what I want to delve into are the similar uh, are the uh, similarities or the synonyms of the word submission so let's dive into it if you can see it on talk talk live here uh you can see it on my uh if you're watching on youtube you can see where i'm pointing at here now uh submission can mean uh, uh well synonyms to submission include yielding capitulation agreement acceptance consent accession and compliance opposite being defiance so those are so those are the synonyms and antonyms of so of the of the word submission so and it's a noun just to let you know it is a noun so let's let's uh, i mean the yielding capitulation i get that 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 brings forth a negative con connotation hello amil how are you welcome to talk talk live hope you like the new new area that we set up here uh, I decided to switch uh, to switch places, and now we are here on IG. Hello, Emil. Uh, so we decided to switch up to a little bit, so we have a new, a different location. I'm just testing new locations out. I hope you like it. I hope you uh, like the new area, that, the new space that we have here. And uh, oh, she likes success. It's nice. Oh, very good, very good. And plus, I think I think here, Emil, is that we're going to get a little better reception. In terms of uh, in terms of the content that we have here, so I th and because it's next to the server and my and my uh, my Wi-Fi space and where I was before is a little further away, so things won't uh, cut out as much. And from what I see here, it's a little less uh, a little less setup, yeah, a little less time to set up for for things here, where you have a few things the theatrics here and there. So this this looks good for a future location to talk talk live. But again. Let us get into it. So in terms of submission, uh, again, I'll just define the term. It is the act of or fact of accepting or yielding to a superior force or the will or authority of another person. So of uh, not exactly the most positive of definitions, to be sure. It isn't, uh, uh, you know, quite frankly. And, you know, it is uh, it is something that, uh, you know, you know, that would definitely auger for uh, negative connotations and again uh you know there's no doubt about it. it's uh you know we have feminists we have you know uh you know uh, uh feminists who would forward the fact that you know to be submissive to your man is again a bad thing and i totally understand i totally get it i totally understand that but it's when you delve into the uh synonyms of the word of the term submission that we have you know that we can have a greater discussion on things so uh again uh, uh, synonyms include yielding capitulation agreement acceptance consent and accession so yielding and capitulation bad all bad of course but when you get to the terms of agreement and acceptance then we can have a dialogue then we can start the dialogue from there because again uh, I think no, I think everybody uh, you know sees it as a negative connotation. It's like it's like you know it's like the Mondays. Mondays doesn't Mon Monday doesn't exactly get a you know a a good shot uh, you know a good you know it's not seen in a good light because it's it's a return to work. It's a return to activity. It's a return. It's it's uh, it's the end of a holiday. It's the end of a it's the end of what can be seen as a uh, a bad or a good thing. So when you see words like yielding capitulation, 
yeah, it's it's not exactly you know it's 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 going against one's will in order to uh, you know uh, get uh, to get things done or get what they want. So that's negative. But when you get into agreement and acceptance, I think that is where we can start the dialogue. So let's discuss agreement. Uh, you know, uh, agreement is when you have. Let's define agreement. If you're with me on Talk Talk Live, I'm going to define what agreement is. All right. So the definition of agreement. Yes, there we go. So agreement is harmony or accordance in opinion or feeling, a position or result of agreeing. Exactly. So, <clears throat> so when you think about it that way, it's it's it brings forth the idea that you know what I have a I, I'm in lockstep with you. I, I I understand where you're coming from. You understand where I'm coming from, and we. And we decide to each other that the best way going forward is to have things happen this way, is to have things happen that way, or to, you know, or come to a decision on things. And so, when you see uh, when when you see someone who's uh, is someone who's submissive to their partner, is someone who is agreeing uh, in agreement to their partner. Think about it that way, because. With that agreement, you realize that you have a partner who will protect and provide. That's the basis of things. If you, if the, if, the, if and that that goes uh, without saying. If the person is not uh, willing to protect and provide for the person, then there can be no agreement, right? So, if a man is not willing to protect and provide for his wife or his woman, we can't have an agreement. So, again, that that sort of uh, you know that sort of uh, sort of submission is broken off. Now, again, but if you have that agreement, if you realize that he does provide, protect, if he does provide, if he does all these things for his, uh, for his woman, then submission is not a bad thing. It really isn't. It really isn't. Especially if, if you want a man in your life for the long term. Um, men, you know, through their, uh, through their, you know, physical strengths and, uh, and certain abilities... Are 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 meant to lead. Are meant to uh, are 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 supposedly quote unquote uh, ones to lead families into the future, in terms of their decision making. Now a woman can take part in that, but a man is supposedly one to make uh, any for any sort of final decisions in the family. But again, with that comes a price. With uh, heavy is the one who wears the crown, and if you wear the crown. There are certain activities and things that you must adhere to in order to leave. So again, let's say this. If you uh, hear a bump in the night for some reason, uh, is a woman supposed to go out and lead? Is a woman supposed to go out and protect their family? Maybe if, uh, if they are alone, but if, they, it was, uh, if it was of their own choosing, probably not. They probably wouldn't want to bring forward themselves in order to uh, protect their family, especially against, uh, you know, against theft or against, you know, bodily harm or to, you know, protect the household at, at any time or who, if they're threatened by some sort of criminal. A woman doesn't want to exactly rush out there and confront uh, said criminal unless they are forced into said position. They would usually ask their, you know, their, their paramour, their man, their husband in order uh, to do that. So there's a price to be paid for that, though, you see, I understand that you you know we live in a we live in a society in which you know there is police, there are emergency services to take care of these certain things, but you know not in the immediate uh, not in the immediate time frame. Unfortunately, uh, you know th there are there there are times in which a man is supposed to you know, is supposed to be the first line of defense. He's supposed to be the one to secure the family, so uh, secure the, the family or secure his woman so that she is safe, so that, uh, you know, uh, any sort of, uh, you know, first line, so, uh, you know, any sort of, you know, criminal activity that is out there is thwarted at first instance until more help arrives. So that is in and of itself, the meaning behind, uh, you know, the, the meaning behind the agreement and be, be, behind the agreement. And 
most couples would adhere, would adhere to that. They would. Most couples would see themselves as, you know, uh, subscribing to that ideal that if there's a bump in the night, a man is supposed, uh, you know, the man if they if they're in said relationship is supposed to go out there and to protect said, uh, you know, the uh, the family or the girlfriend from harm. So with that, there's a price. There's a price to a certain tacit submission. A man is supposed to lead in these certain situations, right? So that is where we see where submission comes in very, very handy, right? Uh, you know, where, you know, well, ladies wouldn't exactly jump to the fore in order to protect the family or jump to the fore in terms of, you know, uh, that sort of thing. They would usually call big brother or usually call, you know, uh, uncle or usually call some sort of male figure to protect. Unless, you know, and then she has a gun, a gun license, but, you know, that's a whole other thing. But even then, it's, you know, uh, <laughs> those are those are very, you know, uh, serious topics of which we are not dealing with here. But uh, that is that is the question. That's the issue that we're dealing with right now. So, you know, if you want a man in your life to protect you, ladies, if you want a man in your life to do that, then it is up to you to get in agreement with him or submit to him in those circumstances if you want to be protected. And I think most women would adhere to that. Most women would like to be protected by their man. Tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me if you want, you know, maybe your 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 mother or your grandmother or emergency services. Uh, if they can't, it, it, it will take usually about 10, 15 minutes to get to you. If you can... Find some sort of, you know, go between to, in order to protect you in the immediacy. All well and good. I mean, this is a free country. This is a free world. You know, you can do that. But with that protection a man pro provides, can provide you, then we ask our ladies to submit. I mean, uh, to, uh, submit or be in agreement with us to allow us to uh, for that protection. Because again, ladies, it's a free world. It's a free country. It's a free life. You can do as you want. And, you know, you can make the decisions as you want. And many women have, you know, many women have gone on, uh, gone alone and not uh, in, in the, in the idea that they don't want uh, uh, to, you know, to be in agreement with their man, which is what submission is. It, submission is agreement. Submission is being in agreement with your male friend, male paramour, male husband you know with your husband period so with that there has to be some sort of you know as we say uh consideration in the legal world they call it consideration so for my protection uh for your protection sorry i'm asking talk, speaking for a lady here for your protection we would uh we as men would ask for your Submission to us to take the lead in these sort of situations, right? So if we, uh, so again, in order to protect you, we need to lead. Uh, we need to lead for it. I think and, uh, Andrew Tate. I know he's a he's a touchy subject, touch sub, but he answers it. He answers it best uh, in that he says that for for your protection, for your safety, you have to submit to us in a certain way, in order for you to stay safe. Right. Because, you know, all women want that security. All women want that safety that we can provide as uh, as men. So that involves some sort of agreement between two parties. Right. Man and woman. So. With that and with, you know, with. You know, any sort of ongoing relationship, common law, uh, common law marriage or marriage in and of itself. We would ask our women to agree with us that we should provide some sort of protection for you, or you should submit to us so that we can protect you. See, it's a, a sort of a, a sort of a, a quid pro quo. Now, again, you could object to it, ladies. You can do it. You can absolutely do it. It's up to you if you want to take the deal. It is. It, it is. It is. It is an agreement after all. And again. 
An agreement is where no one is happy. Again, no man really would like to, you know, go out there and face potential imminent death. We don't. I don't think any man would like to, you know, throw themselves in in, in the in, into the into the lion's den and 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 you know protect a woman if if called upon. But we readily accept that challenge, being the stronger of the two sexes. We accept it. But again. It comes with a price. And it's always come with a price, ladies. And this is the thing. I mean, feminism hasn't changed this one iota. It hasn't changed this one bit. There is a price to be paid. Now, if you want to pay the price, you can pay the price. If you don't want to pay the price, you don't have to pay the price. You don't have to. You literally don't have to. It's up to you. We live in a world where your free will is... you know, is regarded. It is accepted. So, with that, you know, you can decide to go it alone. And many women have. Many women have gone uh, gone, uh, gone alone because they said, you know what, the government has protected, I mean, there is there are police services, there are fire services, there are emergency services, they have all these things. All these things have allowed for me to go it alone. So I don't, so, so government services have, have substituted for a man, but ladies, would you really want that? I ask you, I ask you to, to, to talk to me on Talk Talk Live. Thank you for joining me on Talk Talk Live on IG and YouTube. Like, subscribe, comment. We're on the road to a thousand subscribers and we changed our scenery as you can see, as you can see, uh, I, I think it's a little more user friendly here. And uh, I think it's, uh, it's, I think it's a, if it's a better look, just let me know if it's a better look. But let's get back to it. For your, I mean, you, would you want, who would you want, who would you rather protect you? Your man or the government? Now the government is going to take time in order to do that, but a man is there pretty much instantaneously. You have to wait around for the police. But with your man, he's right there. She likes a new scenery. Oh, very nice. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. <laughs> there you go. Narissa, thank you very much. You would like your man to protect you. Thank you so much. Why not? Why not have your man protect you? Why not have your man do these things for you? And all us men are asking you, asking from you, is to be in agreement with us, aka submit. Because again, as we go back to the meaning of what submission is, let's go back to it. If you're with me on Talk Talk Live on YouTube, you can check it out yourself. What submission? Submission is a synonym for agreement or acceptance. It's a synonym. Again, the term, the act or uh, the action or fact of accepting or yielding to superior force or the will or authority of another person. You would rather your man go out and dismiss of any trouble. All we ask of you, ladies, is to submit to our will or authority on these matters, on the protect, uh, on the matter of your protection, on the matter of your safety. But I think 99% of women who are, okay, let's, let's, let's get this right. You have to be heterosexual. You got to be, you know. Narissa says she submits. Absolutely. Thank you very much for that, Narissa. But that's what I'm talking about. here. Are you willing to be the ones to, let me just wave to a few people here. Yes, yes, yes. I just waving to a few people. Thank you. Thank you for joining me on Talk Talk Live, live on IG and YouTube. I mean, for that sort of protection, there is a price to be paid. And it's free. Remember that. You don't have to pay for this, for this protection. You don't have to pay for this, you know, uh, for, for this. All you have to do is be in agreement with us. I think that's simple enough. I think that's 
well and truly simple enough. So, it's up to you uh, how 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 you wish you know, how you wish to take it. Again, free and uh, free and engaging society. I mean, red pill, blue pill, black pill aside. You ladies have more choice here than in, in any time in history. If you don't wish to have a man's uh, protection, you don't have to. You don't. You don't have to. But for sheer um, uh, for sheer immediacy, um, for sheer uh, for sheer safety, I think most women would take that deal. They would. So you finally found somebody worthy of my submission. I mean, that that is one thing that a lot of late uh, ladies say. They found someone worthy of their submission. And if you find someone like that, that's fine. But there are a whole lot of ladies out there who are alone because of their list of demands. And it is a list. And... Understood. There are preferences. There are likes. There are dislikes. I mean, there are all these different things. But once you read a certain certain names, certain certain these li these lists have to be cut down. But anyways, that's a whole other subject altogether. But I would say, if a man meets most of this list and he's able to protect you at the same time, I would say, ladies, you you need to really con highly consider that deal. You do. You got to consider it. At least take it under serious consideration because those sort of deals may not come back. They may not be around. Right? They may not be around at all. So if such a deal is on the table, maybe it's uh, to your best interest to take said deal. To submit in those instances for your greater good. To be in agreement with your man so that you are fully protected. That you are safe in the knowledge that if there's a bump in the night, somebody's there to protect you. I mean, ladies used to take this 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 thing hand over fist, but again, with alternatives, with you know, with 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 emergency services out there and in the environment in which we live, you know. And think about it this way. Here's here's something. As I was saying to you on Talk to Talk Live recently, sexual assaults are up in society. Up. They're going up. I think it was a, it was a case of, let me just see uh, here, sexual assault statistics. Uh, thank you for joining me on Talk to Talk Live here. Let me just go to the sexual assault statistics here. Uh, let's see here. Um, Right. Here we go. I just saw it on Talk Talk Live here. One out of six American women, this is American women, have been the victim or attempted to be the victim of a sexual assault in their lifetime. One out of six. And I think that in this environment in which more men are becoming less involved in any sexual relationship, that number will jump up to maybe one in maybe one in five, one in four, one in three. We don't want that. We definitely don't want that. So it's always good to have that sort of insurance policy available to you ladies. And that, whether you like it or lump it, comes from a man. Thank you for joining me on Talk Talk Live. We are discovering a new location here. Uh, I may have to get a, uh, you know, a few lights and a few scenery changes. Let me know how, uh, what you think about it. Uh, I'm thinking it's a, it's a great place in which to do the show. And, uh, you know. I think, uh, you know, we're going to jazz up the place a little bit more uh, over time in order to uh, serve you better. But thank you for joining me on Talk Talk Live on IG and YouTube. But let's get back to it. So, again, submission for that price, I think, is a small price to pay, ladies. It really is a small price to pay. Very small. For you to be protected by a man 
of a certain size and certain stature to make sure that you are safe, to make sure that your security is assured, not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. And most men would, you know, be fully willing to do that. Be fully willing to do that. Now, again, Larissa says, finally found someone who is worthy of my submission. Men would, you know, balk their eye at that. But again, but again, life's about choices. And if you choose to wait for a man to uh, to give you that sort of that sort of security, so be it. I can't, I can't, I can't knock that. I can't object to that. But as long as you do it in your own time, as well, as long as you do it in a in a, in a time frame that allows you to uh, receive that sort of protection and provision. So that's one thing. Uh, but thank you for joining me. In Talk Talk Live. Like, subscribe, comment. We are on the way to 20,000 subscribers. Uh, to 20,000. To 1,000 subscribers. <laughs> on the road to 1,000 subscribers. Like a friend, tell a friend. We are here every Tuesday, Thursday, and Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. Yes. On IG and YouTube. So, that's one segment of things. So, for, our, for your protection, submission is not a bad deal. The second thing is for our provision, for our legal tender, for our monetary, for your monetary security, no matter how high or high or low. In this economy, every little helps. Every little bit helps. And I think Ladies, especially at the, at the pandemic and, and, and with the incoming recession that is, uh, that is forthcoming, I think that submission can't be a bad word because now more than ever, you need your men. Now more than ever, you starting to need your men. It started with the pandemic. I think it started with the pandemic. I think ladies went way off the rails in terms of, you know, their feministic ideas, their city girl, uh, their, their city girl ideas, their three or four ideals. And they thought, you know, I'm the prize, I'm the table, I'm the this, I'm the that. Then God has a special way of leveling things off. And in came the pandemic. In came COVID. In came a time where ladies... And this ties in with the whole protection idea where ladies needed their men in order to protect and provide. It did. Big time. I think ladies realized that it takes two incomes in order to get through society. Ladies realized that it takes a man and a woman in order to move things towards their higher self. It takes, it does. And I think it, uh, women realize that for their safety and for their protection, especially when, you know, out there, you know, gathering, quote unquote, because this is not really an agrarian slash, you know, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, middle earth slash, uh, you know, uh, you know, middle ages society where, you know, life was nasty, brutish, and short, but it, you know, it could have, could have got there. And you wanted a man around. You did. You really wanted a man around. So, with that, submission is not really a bad word in those instances. Secondly, let's talk about provision. Let's talk about, you know, need for, uh, you know, uh, me, me, making ends meet. Um, need for you know, getting ahead in uh, getting ahead in life. Put simply, it's hard to do it alone. Let's 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 say that it's very difficult to do things alone, in in any in any walk of life. It really is. And I think with the recession, I think with 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 COVID, it that brought things to the fore. It really did. And it was a case of 
Right. What do we do in these instances? What do, uh, I mean, what what do we need in these instances? Well, for a lot of races, uh, for, for for a lot of people, for for women in general, they needed their men. They did. They realized that if they were heterosexual to any great extent, because again, there are all alternatives. There are alternatives, so we have to we have to acknowledge that. But for most people who are heterosexual, they need either their families or their men. And in those two, uh, well, their families or a relationship. And in those two circumstances, you still need men. Men is a common denominator. Not to say the other way around. I think men have always acknowledged that we need our women. We've always said that. That goes without saying. It is when... It is when... Women say, I don't need their men. That's when we start seeing the... Eh. That's when we start saying, whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait a minute. In any, so, in any form, in any capacity, in this lifetime, you need your men. You do. You need your men in some way, shape, or form. Especially economically. Because even though there is not a wage gap, there's no, there's no wage gap anymore, quite simply. Uh, that's been proven to be false. The fact of the matter is two incomes are better than one. In any capacity. Two incomes are always better than one. Life is always easier with a second income. Generational wealth is always that much more attainable with a second income. Now, again, as most people are heterosexual, that second income would come through a relationship, a.k.a. a man, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen. And I think, I think women were, have been, a sh I don't know if they've, they didn't wish to acknowledge it to any, a certain extent. I don't think they wish to put it out there and wish to concede the point, but especially certain, especially here, especially my race, the African diaspora, they didn't want to concede that point. But as with any other race, as with any other group of people, everybody needs each other and women especially need their men. They do. And for that, I wouldn't say there's a price. There's a, yeah, yeah, there is a price to pay. There is a price. Sure. But let's go there. There is a price to pay. You want our protection? Yes. Well, you have to submit to a certain extent. You want our provision? Yeah. Well, you have to submit. Because again, or, but, I know, it's jarring, it's a jarring word. Let's say, let's be, uh, you have to be in alignment, you have to be in agreement with your partner, with your man, in order to move things forward. Now, if you have a man who's submissive or is a cuck, hey, all the better, all, you know, all the power to you, but... I don't think women really respect said individuals. Women want real men, despite the fact that, oh, it's, you know, it's like he may be toxic or something like that. No, no, no. You do. Because when shit hits the fan, you know that you want that male figure in your life who has your back. You know that. It's, 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 it's part of the natural state of things. It's part of evolution to find that person who can carry forward the seed to the next generation and to, you know, allow for the two of you to succeed in life and to bring, and bring forward generational wealth and to 
uh, you know, make the best of life. Now, again, women would say, I'm the prize, I'm the table, I'm the this, I'm the that, and what, I'm, you know, I'm the whatever. But, I mean, uh, most guys laugh at that. They say, where are you, go where are you going with this? Where are, you, where are you going with this? Because maybe you say that when you're young, and you're adventurous, when you're, you know, a bit foolhardy. But there has to be a come to Jesus moment. It's when you realize that life is hard on your own in this instance. When you want to start a family and realize that kids are expensive. When you realize that you would rather your man be at home to, to enforce discipline, to be that father figure, to be that teacher, to be that prophet that you want in life. And if you want your children to be properly raised, you need a non-abusive, let me say that, a non-abusive man about the house. I've already said that Two parent, uh, two parent households. Usually, the kids come out better educated, richer, better adjusted, and with a better start in life. Not to say you can't get it from a single household, but yes, that's what people aspire to. So. What are you what are we to do about these things, ladies? What are we going when are you gonna have that come to Jesus moment and realize that submission in this case means provision? Means a man in your life that'll be there for you in good times and bad. Especially economically. I mean, it was good enough for your parents. Why is it not good enough for you? Why is it not good enough for you? If you have lived in such environments, I mean, we've fallen away from that over the last 50 years because the government has, be, has, been, has replaced a man in the house. He's literally replaced that man, that family figure in the household. And... It's a needless task. Now, again, you say the man is, you know, the man is a deadbeat. The man, uh, you know, was never one to provide in the first place. And I understand that. Yes, of course. If the man has been a deadbeat and not been able to protect, uh, well, and to provide for his family, yeah, he's a deadbeat, sure. But if the man is doing the best he can and, he's, and he is providing for the family the, the way he can... He shouldn't be dismissed outright. There are so many men out there who are willing to provide, but you ladies don't want, to pro want them to provide for you. You're not willing to submit to them because they don't make enough for you. But I ask you this. Wholeheartedly, I ask you this. Are you willing I mean, would you rather go about alone as has been for the last 40 to 50 years and see if you can make a way for yourself? Or would you rather a man be in that household of course, not abusive, of course, and see if indeed you can make life better for your family. Now again, there are a few hurdles to overcome in terms of counseling, in terms of therapy, if, if necessary, in order to make things work. But 
especially in this economy, I don't see it as being a bad deal. I really don't. I really don't see it as being a bad deal. And there are a lot of guys out there who are willing to do it. They don't have to be, they're not exactly top tier. No, I, I mean, how many women have a shot at those top tier guys? How many? Not many, if any. And there are so many men out there left on the shelf, uncatered to, that you're not willing to submit for, simply because he doesn't look a certain way, he's not as tall as he can be, he doesn't have as much money as you would like him to have, and he can't sexually please you. Thank you for joining me on Talk to Talk Live on IG and YouTube. We are trying out a new location for the show, so I hope you like it. Like, subscribe, comment. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. Uh, tell, a, uh, tell a friend to tell a friend. So, in this day and age, ladies, can you be that picky? Seriously? Will life getting that much harder? Can you be? Can you afford to be that picky? Especially to men who are, you know, good-natured, good-hearted, won't abuse their kids, will be a solid provider for you. He may not be the greatest provider. I think you're dismissing a lot of men outright, and you're not willing to submit the, for uh, for them because he doesn't look a certain way, he doesn't have a certain height. He doesn't have the sexual prowess. He doesn't make enough money. And that's a shame. That's a serious, serious, serious shame. And um, a lot of women are going to miss out on that. A lot of women are going to find it hard. A lot of people, yeah, and a lot of women, here's the thing. A lot of women are going to end up on the street because of these certain standards that they have. I mean, we're all allowed to uh, to a certain standard. Goes without saying. We're all allowed to a certain standard of things. Yes, 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 and yes. But when those standards are taken too far, you may end up regretting it, as so many women do. As so many women do. Wait a second. Let's just let's just. I'm just going to tap into this right quick. Uh, actually, I'm going to... Thank you for joining me on Talk to Talk Live on IG and YouTube. Like, subscribe, comment. We're going to go here for a second. Yes, indeed, because this one lady I saw here, and this is coming from the man that is Mediocre Tutorials and Reviews. Shout out to him. He's been doing wonderful work uh, within the community. Uh, you can hear him in the background. Uh, we are going to tap into this one segment of things. Here we go. Yes, thank you for joining me on Talk Talk Live. I hope you like the new space that we have here on Talk Talk Live. I think it's uh, I think I, I think it's a great new place in which to uh, conduct the show, and I think uh, I think I'll stick around. I think I will stick around. Hey, I have uh, I have uh, I have technical staff has just arrived, and uh, she is looking in on the show. Say hello, technical staff. Hello, technical staff. There's technical staff. Ha, 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 ha. There's technical staff. But we're going to get on to uh, one show. Did you need anything? Oh, right. Yes, indeed. Luckily, I'm at a bar, so I can be a bartender at the same time. Oh, sorry. Let me, let me help out there. What do you need there? Huh? Ginger ale. Ginger ale. Thank you. All right. Okay. Well, that's uh, part of my duck. That's a Sprite. That's a Sprite. Yes. But I uh, need a. Did you need a ginger, ginger ale? ale? Yeah. Where's the ginger ale around? Good here? question. 
Um, I don't okay. think I see I'll it. I'll stick with the Sprite. Thanks. Yes. All right. Appreciate it, bartender. Thank you very much. Still on Talk Talk Live right here. You know, I, I, I substitute as a bartender every now and again. <laughs> actually, we do, uh, I do my broadcast from a bar, actually, as you can see. See the drinks around. Anyways, hope you like the new views. Okay, so... Yes, indeed. Let me uh, move to this lady here. Where did she go here? Is she around? No, I don't think she is. Oh. Okay, actually, let's go there. Let's go there. Sure, why not? Why not? Why not? Let's go to this one right here. Now, she, a little further on down the show. Okay, you need not do that. Okay, I think it is. No, that's not it, is it? No. No, that's bad. That's a bad idea. Okay, so let's go to. Wait for it. Where did she go here? I saw her recently. Uh, anyways, nonetheless, we're gonna move on from there. We're gonna move on from there. I, I thought I could find it, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go there. I'm not gonna go find it. But again, I'm just gonna discuss. Uh, the, I'll discuss the uh, the thing I saw in Meteo tutorial reviews. It's this one lady who, you know, instantly regretted not being subservient to a man uh, when given the opportunity when she was the youngest and her hottest. And not being, not subservient, submissive. That's the word. Being submissive to a man when she was uh, at her youngest and her hottest point. And now she regrets it. Now she feels it's, uh, well, basically... Uh, that you know, she finds it hard in life. She, she, you know, she finds it hard to make ends meet. She finds it hard to raise a family. She's had kids out of wedlock, thinking, you know, family or government would be able to meet her, uh, to meet her needs. But that wasn't even the case. So, ladies, it's it's a case where if you want that sort of provision, if you want that sort of person who can handle a certain amount of bills, and I mean the majority of bills, or half the bills. Let's, let's, go, let's go there. If you can find a man that can make, that you can help with two, half or two-thirds of your bills, no matter, the cir no matter the circumstance, no matter the race, what's the problem? And most people are race loyal to begin with, so you got to think about it that way. I think submission then is not a bad deal because submission equals agreement. Think about it that way. Submission equals being in agreement, being in compliance, because that's what it says right here. A synonym for submission is compliance. A synonym for submission is acceptance. A synonym for submission is agreement. So I don't know why submission gets the bad word. Again, the definition of submission. The act, the action or fact of accepting or yielding to a superior force or to the will or authority of another person. Look it up yourself. Google it yourself. That's what comes up. Accepting or yielding to a superior force or the will or to the will of authority of another person, of another person. If that means for you to have a more comfortable life, a more secure life, a more economically satisfying life, would you not take that deal, ladies? Because that's what men provide. That's what, what why men protect you. When we put our lives on the line for you. 
I don't see it being a bad deal. Do you? Let me know. In the comments below. Let me know if it's considered a bad deal. I'll tell you something. A lot of women are starting to come to the to come to the realization that it's not bad. Not a bad deal at all. Especially in this day and age, in this economy, in this life in which, as I've said, life is getting harder, sexual assaults are up. Because certain men aren't considered good enough. Certain men are sexless. It's true. The economy is not... Is, is, it takes two incomes to raise a family. It does. It simply does. It simply does. Now again, you say to yourself, what if I earn more than a man? Okay. Then you have a greater deal to work out. You have a sort of confluence, well, I wouldn't say, yeah, a, a greater agreement in which to work on. Because if you're supplying for things economically, for you're supplying things budget-wise in the household, and you're, and you're regarding the, uh, the line sum, the fact of the matter is a man is there to protect. Still there. That hasn't changed. That doesn't change. And we have a comment from Chanel. Honestly, are men doing this? I don't get child support. I have two teens in my house. Okay, well, there you go. Are men really doing this? Have you asked your men to do this? That's the question. Have you taken upon yourself to take that final step to say, listen, we have kids together. Why don't we make it official? Now, I don't know what sort of state of relationship you have, but if you chose to go it alone, you chose to go it alone. And that's totally fine. In this free, egalitarian society, you're willing to, if you're willing to do it on your own, you're willing to do it on your own. Now, I don't know what your circumstantial relationship was, but 40, 50 years ago, you wouldn't go into a relationship with kids without marriage. You wouldn't do it. But that's a whole, that's a that's another story. That's another subject. Let's take ourselves out of there. Yes, childhood uh, child support order nothing. He lives uh, in another in another country. Ugh. Well, that's another sticky subject. <laughs> Thank you, Chanel, for your comments, of course. But he lives in a, if he lives in another country, eh, you know, the, the you know the immigration uh, laws and, and and such and you know now. Again, he may be willing to step up to, uh, to the plate to pr protect and provide. But, again, the government could have, uh, you know, could have another story. You know, I mean, those are very touchy subjects. And, you know, I don't wish to get in the middle of things. But it is um, something to be, cons well, it's, it's, that's tough. That is tough. I, 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 I'm willing to concede on certain points there. That is tough. But, again, that should have been, well, yeah, let, let's go there. That should have been in the plans before a baby's had. Before any sort of, you know, because, I mean, the, 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 young, and dumb, the, young, the young and dumb excuse can only go so far. It only be taking so long. And especially in these certain situations where a man lives in another country and this and this and that and that, 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 that. Then we're into, you know, a whole host of legalities. Unfortunately. But it is, um, again, that's where family pl planning gets involved. That's where family planning comes in. Unfortunately, and we don't do enough of that. We don't do enough family planning these days. So, again, I uh, I know what happened there. Uh, I don't know why 
why that's going off like that. But uh, come back to me again. I don't know why this thing is going off all of a sudden. It seems to be... Uh, uh, I don't know why... Hello. Hello, everyone. Back to Talk Talk Live. I don't know what happened there. Seems to have been uh, disrupted, but we're back for part two. Thank you for joining me on Talk Talk Live. Like, subscribe, comment. I don't, I don't get that. I'm going to have to check that out. I really am going to have to check that out. That, that makes no sense whatsoever. But anyways, we are back. Again, we are discussing if uh, submission is indeed a bad word. And coming to the conclusion, well, I, I was, I wouldn't say coming to the conclusion, but uh, we just had a few comments from uh, Chanel, who's in our audience. Thank you, Chanel, for your comments about, you know, um, you know, a man not being in a relationship, he owes child support and such and such and such. But again, I think this is where family planning comes in all together with and, you know, and the need for proper family planning in order to build a solid relationship and solid marriage and such. And so submission is not so much of a big deal. But it must be said without any hesitation that from my, from my point of view that submission is not exactly a bad deal because submission equals agreement. Submission means compliance. If you think about it that way. I think submission gets a bad rap overall. I think submission gets a really... Uh, bad end of the stick on these things. And it must be said that I think if women would be a little more in agreement, a little more compliant with their men, a little more submissive, I think we have a lot more, a lot more happier ladies over time. Because it will allow them to live in their natural state as nurturers, as carers, as carriers of culture for the family. That's what I think submission should be deemed as. I mean, submission allows for a woman to be a woman. Think about it that way. Because it allows her to be in agreement with her man. Allows her to live the life she wants to live as a care, nurturer, and provider of culture. Because I don't, I don't see a lot of lim, uh, I don't see a lot of women living alone. Now I could be listen. This is a new environment, new society. But I don't see a lot of women who are living outside of the family mold on their own who are happy and content. Hell, the same goes with men. Let's, let's, let's face facts here. But I don't see a lot of women doing it. I don't. I think w uh, women tend to be happier and more content in a family environment. When they are carers, when they are nurturers, when they are providers, because that's, listen, the biological clock is there for a reason. It doesn't go off in our men's heads. It goes off in ladies' heads. Men would like family, uh, would like to, uh, you know, to carry on their their seed to future generations. But let's put that into proper context. I mean, in order for us to carry on the seed, we want to find the right individual. We want to find the right individual who can be submissive when she needs to be or, or in agreement with her man when she needs to be or complying with her man when she needs to be. I think when we say submission, we mean agreement. And a lot of ladies don't look the term up. They don't. They really don't. They don't exactly know what the term means. And again, let's state it again what submission means. It means the act of the action or fact of accepting or yielding to a, to a superior force or or to the will or authority of another person. Especially a person who's willing to protect 
and provide for you. So isn't that a better way of saying things, ladies? Isn't that what you all look for in a man? I, I haven't seen a lady out there yet who said, oh, well, I don't want a man to protect and provide for me. <clears throat> I haven't. Even the, the most staunch, the, the staunchest feminist out there, I haven't heard from them saying that I wouldn't want a man to protect and provide for me. I haven't seen it. But this is that sort of selective feminism that, where rules, uh, they'll, they'll cut and contrive so the rules apply to them come in handy and guys are totally discombobulated by it. They're totally confused by it. They say to themselves, how can you protect and provide if women's not... If, how can you protect and provide if women aren't willing to be in agreement with us? Or willing to be in compliance with us? How can we do it? You can't. And that's why men are giving up. They say, you know what? If you're not going to willing to, if you don't, if you're not willing to submit to me, if you're not willing to protect and provide for me, with me, if you're not willing to be in agreement or in alignment with me, how can things go forward? And there are good men out there who are, who have just basically checked out because women see this submission idea as being toxic masculinity. And we're asking the question, why? 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 What's considered toxic and masculine? The assertion of masculinity? That's another thing, but again, that's a whole other subject. But let's stay on topic because, you know, it wants to be a shorter show. I promise that this will be a shorter show. But there you have it. I mean, if women... Here's the thing. And this is what I'm going to clip up and send out there. If women are willing to be a little more submissive, their lives would be that much easier. Because you'll find men who will protect and provide for you. There it is. And if you look at the word, it's not exactly a bad word. It isn't a bad word. If you're looking for a man to protect and provide for you, then you're being, then you're being somewhat submissive to him. Because for that protection and provision is a price to pay. There is a price to pay. And the price is a man looking out for you. Both for your safety and for your economic well-being. And once you have that in mind, then submission is not a hard thing. And a lot of people get it. They do. They get it. The man is willing to protect and provide for me, then I will submit to his will. Submit to his authority. Because so it's been like that for time immemorial. Because, or, or unless, ladies, you start pr protecting us as men. And I haven't seen that since. <laughs> I haven't seen that for a long time, unless she has a gun and she's with a, and she's with some sort of police force. And that's usually in the real minority, but again... Is submission a bad word? No, it's not a bad word. It's not. In answer to the question, no, it isn't. It isn't, it isn't, it isn't. Now, once we get that 
and we're and we and we accept that in our society. I think society be a better place, especially for women these days. Especially for women these days, it's going to be a much better place for them. And it'll be a much easier place for them as well because, again, submission is free. It's free. It is so free. There's not really a price so much to pay for that. No, we have to. We have to take the bullet, making the uh, our uh, men have to take the bullet in terms of making ourselves the best selves we could be. Yes, absolutely. Or we get, or else we don't get the right to, you know, call out for submission. We don't get it. We don't. But why is it so hard on ladies? I don't know. I really don't know. I really don't know. You know, when you hear you hear from them and say, "I really not submit to a man," that, 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 that. Well, okay. As the Bible says, if you don't if you don't wish to be covered, you will not be covered. If you don't wish if you don't wish to be under this. Rule this this sort of consideration between man and woman that's been there from time immemorial and still exists today. There are now alternatives, of course, but for the most part, in this heterosexual life for the mo for most people in this world, that's the rule. Your submission for my protection and my provision. I think life has gone on just uh, just fine beforehand, but you know, with the advent of feminism, with the advent of you know, with women's rights, and with the uh, you know the new motif, the new archetypical strong, independent. I don't need a man, woman. Submission is seen as a bad word, and unnecessarily so, when it's just asking for women to be in compliance with their men, to be in agreement with their men, because that's what it means. Those are the synonyms. So, if you want to be in agreement with your men, then submission is not so much a bad word. Plain and simple. Anyway, it's over the hour, and I said to myself, I'm just going to cut it short today. But we'll be back again on Tuesday night for Talk Talk Live. I be I believe there won't be a show on Thursday. Thursday will not there will not be a show because uh, again I have a certain uh, work commitments I have to get to. So unfortunately, it will not be on Thursday. But we'll return Sunday night. <coughs> so this week will be Tuesday. Uh, today uh, will be Tuesday and Sunday, and then back to our regular schedule programming, entering into this November and this December. So I thank you for joining me on Talk Talk Live. Thank you. Like, subscribe, comment. I think this is a new this location is new and I think it's better. We've had a few disturbances here and there from family. Uh family, sorry. Uh from from technical staff. And uh yeah, it was it was a really this is a really cool location. So I'm gonna look to uh you know do things from here a lot more. So thank you for joining me on Talk Talk Live on IG and YouTube. We're going to be back on Tuesday night for another, uh, you know, another scintillating topic. And again, I will be off this Thursday, but we'll be returning on Sunday night. So thank you for joining me on Talk Talk Live tonight. I really enjoyed myself. This is a good discussion with, uh, with a few of the people out there. Shout out to Chanel. Shout out to Nerissa. Shout out to uh, a few of my uh, a few of my viewers who were on tonight and exact and 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 enjoyed the show indeed. So we're just gonna get out of here. Thank you for joining me. Talk talk live. If you talk talk walk the talk, we'll be back on Tuesday night for your viewing pleasure. Signing out from here. Peace. Oh. This video is uh, was sponsored by Duntalk, D-U-N-T-A-L-K dot com. New fall line out now. Oh, thank you, Arsenal. Third, first place going into Christmas. All right, we're out of here. This time we're out of here. All right, peace. <laughs>